Guys, I've been pranked. Look at this. Do, do you see this? this? This is just uncool for. Just, why? Uh, what's that? You're telling me you didn't see it? Okay, hold on, hold on, look, look at it, look at this. Do you see it now? Surely you must be able to see it now. You still don't see it? You're telling me I'm lying? Okay, look, 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 look. Here, here, I have something I can definitely prove it to you, look. Look at all these. Look at all these. Do you see it? Who would do this? Why? Wait, what? You're telling me you see nothing? Nothing at all. Nothing is wrong with this picture right here. Nothing at all. Ah, you, you guys are useless. Come on now. Hello everyone, my name is Tony, and welcome back to episode 2 of Aphroscroft Season 3. So yes, I have been pranked. It would appear that somebody has been filling all of my chests with glass panes to make it look like I haven't been able to see anything at all. And also somebody has been pl uh, placing banners everywhere. And I believe as well that isn't the only place they've placed banners. So here we are at the shopping district and uh, it's been building up. Lots of stores are coming into play here. We've got a quartz store, we've got a wool store, I think that's a glass store there, totem, books, um, something. <laughs> we'll get to that one in a minute. But yes, if we look over here, my shop has been pranked also. Uh, now I know exactly who's done these two pranks. Uh, the banners was RC, figured that was going to happen soon enough. And as for the glass panes, I believe that was probably Blem, uh, if I remember correctly, because he, he, he may have hinted at me that he'd done it. So yes, here we are at my shop, and as you can see, we are out of everything. There is no more stuff in these chests, so that would mean that... Oh, ho, ho. oh yes, yes, please, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So what, what what does that make us put us at now? Three and almost a three quarter stack. Nice. I'm liking this. Well, I guess I'm going to have to restock. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot to restock it with, but we'll go ahead and restock that now. Okay, so we now got the elytras and shulkers restocked again. There's not a lot at the moment, I only got one elytra and about 20 shulkers in here at the moment. So we will need to go in busting again shortly. I think I'll probably do that uh, once we've finished here. But for now that would have to do. Uh, another thing I just wanted to show over here is this shop over here. Now, all, all these shops are pretty cool and, and I'm liking them a lot at the moment. but. This one over here is probably one of the most ridiculous ones I've seen so far. It's called Hole. Lot of nothing. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if you gathered basically what this person here is selling, but uh, yeah, they. How can I, how can I put this? They're, they're selling nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. I mean, they're selling something, but it's. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't question. I wouldn't say it's uh, anything. Uh, you, I mean, look at this. Stack of visible glass, and... <laughs> uh, and yeah, there's, there's this as well. So silly. Um, but, but look at this. Look at look at this. This is fire metro. Are you expecting me to read all this? But then, it's just nothing. Nothing. All the way. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, fireman, you mad, mad person. I have no idea what you're thinking with this shop, but... Oh my days, is it funny? <laughs> Who knows, maybe, maybe, I'm not saying we will, but maybe we'll shop here, maybe. <laughs> oh dearie me. Well, for now, I think I'm going to actually head on over to the end and do a bit of end busting, I think. I need to get some more for my shop as uh, it seems to be a bit in high demand, actually, for, for both the elytras and the shulkers. And uh, also, I think I may need to get started on dealing with the rockets at some point as well. So we'll see how we do with that. But first, two end busting. So one end busting later, and we now got ourselves all kitted out with some diamond gear. I managed to get quite some good enchantments in all of these. Not 100% perfect, but they're a lot better than the iron gear I had going. I also got Unbreaking on my Silk Touch pick now, and I've also got a nice uh, shovel as well, which I've been using quite a lot, uh, which you'll see in just a moment. So now that my shop is all nice and stocked up, and I've got a bunch of new gear and tools I can use, I now am going to be working on my modern house. So I figured that uh, although I really want to get rockets going at the moment and start selling those, I figured, well, I need to think about the golden rules I placed, and two of them tells me that A, I need a house, and B, I need to finish my projects. 
that I'm starting on. So, in light of that, I have started work on where I'm going to be putting my modern house. So, over here I've got these uh, blocks marked out in various locations, and w the idea is that uh, in this section here, this will be like the uh, front of the modern house, so this would be where like the garden and such will possibly go and that. And then over here, in this large section here, would be the actual modern house. I actually want to put kind of a little bit of like a L shape in this a little bit, but not fully. It's going to be kind of, kind of blocky, kind of, somewhat. I'll end up showing how that's going to look in just a moment. Uh, for now, let's have a look at the blocks we're going to use. So we're going to be using white concrete, grey concrete, uh, dark oak, and we're going to be using these uh, grey stainless steel panes that uh, I believe Blem, uh, as I said earlier, had uh, left as a little prank, and I got like, well, like good free stacks worth of this, so may as well use it in my build. So, what we're going to do is start working on this and lay out the basic structure of how I want it to look, and uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so I've done some work so far, and this is what I've come up with for my design for the modern house. I'm still playing around with it at the moment. I may increase this uh, sort of white section out a little bit up here, and I may also increase this uh, wood section out just a little bit more that way, and the white section out a little bit that way. This black section here, I think I'm happy with it. I might make it just a tad taller? I'm not sure. You know, I had to play around with it. I'm gonna see what I feel about this and uh, it might take me a while to actually truly get this done I think. But it's coming along. It's coming along. I mean we we now have a remnants of a base. Uh, <laughs> it's not, you know, not livable in just yet but hey, we're, we're getting there. It may take me another week at most to probably get this done, maybe even longer, who knows. But we'll see, we'll see how things go from there. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to mention before I wrap up today's episode is there's a little bit of a, of a competition going to be happening soon with uh, me and RC. I won't go into major details, hopefully in the next episode I'll explain it better, but basically myself and him haven't died yet. Now I believe there are other members on the realm who may have also not died, however no one other than myself and RC have played for as long as we have. Uh, as you can see I've been playing for 3,000 minutes, he's been playing for almost 9,000 minutes. We have been playing for one of the longest in terms of staying alive and you might be thinking, well hold on a minute, how can you have still been alive all this time? Well because of these totems in my hand, as you can see I've got one right there and I have another two in my inventory. I've had five totems save me now. Uh, I think one totem was used against an enderman, and another four uh, I actually used against a wither, um, which I'll show you in the next episode, uh, those wither fights, so be looking forward to that. But yes, this little competition basically is to see which of the other members can kill either myself or RC. Uh, now, no PvP is allowed, traps are allowed, and no no blowing up of like bases and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to be working with Curly with that, and we'll try and figure out the details on how that's going to work, and uh, hopefully I'll have some kind of store set up with Curly, uh, where we will have people being able to place participation uh, diamond in order to participate in trying to either kill myself or RC. So, you know, it, it'll be fun. We'll, s <laughs> we'll see how long... Uh, that goes on for. I mean, I gotta stay alive long enough until that be actually happens. So anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Kind of a bit of nothing has been happening, but a bit of something has happened also, I guess. But yes, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.